This is Jerry Knapp giving you the brass tacks and hard facts about the effects of kinks on your fire attack system. We conducted an experiment here to see the effect of various different kinks on our fire attack system. We started with one 90 degree kink, increased that to two 90 degree kinks, moved it up to one 130 or approximately 135 degree kink, turned that into kind of an expanded Z, so there's two kinks, compressed that Z, so we had essentially two 180 kinks like you may have in the uh, bed of your hose bed, and tried that each with different nozzles. The nozzles we used were two smooth bores, one 7 8 one 15 16 at 50 PSI. The combination nozzle we used was 150 GPMs at 50 PSI, and the third was a 100 PSI automatic nozzle flowing 150 GPMs. I think you'll be very surprised to see the results. There's two important facts here. One is you have to test to be sure uh, your assumptions are correct about how, much, how many GPMs you're losing. The second is you need to test your fire attack system. You can't take our data with our hose, our nozzles, and assume your hose, your nozzles will act the same way. Here we are establishing our baseline for the 7 8 inch smoothbore nozzle. We are flowing 160 GPMs. It's important to note that the margin of error is about 10%, and at a flow of 160 GPMs, the upper margin of our error would be plus or minus 16 GPMs. Now we put one 90 degree bend in the line. Not much loss of a GPM, probably due to the fact we're using premium quality hose. The hard fact here is premium quality hose resists kinking and has an effect on your fire attack system. Here's two 90 degree kinks. Now we're at a flow of 153 GPMs. You'll notice we had a hard time maintaining our first 90 degree kink. The single 130 degree kink resulted in a flow of 145 GPMs. Two 130s, or what we call the open Z, dropped the flow down to 134 GPMs, a loss of 26 gallons per minute. Finally, making it a closed Z, or two 180 degree kinks, resulted in a flow of 117 GPMs. It's important to note the old wisdom of each kink dropping your flow by 10, 20, or 30 GPMs just is not a fact. The brass tacks and hard facts are there is no common or standard loss in GPMs caused by kinks. Moving on to our 15 16 inch smoothbore nozzle, our baseline flow is 185 GPMs. A single 90 degree kink drops it down to about 178 GPMs. Two 90 degree kinks make little difference in flow. Here are 130 degree kink sets us at about 162 GPMs. Two 130 degree kinks puts us at about 140 GPMs. Finally, the closed Z brings us down to 126 GPMs. Our fixed GPM combination nozzle is rated for 150 GPMs at 50 PSI, and that is our baseline. One 90 degree kink resulted in no appreciable difference. We are still within our margin of error. Two 90 degree kinks has similarly no effect. Now we start to see a drop in GPMs with one 130 degree kink. Two 130s drops the flow down to 82 GPMs. Interestingly, with our closed Z, we actually see an increase in flow. We believe this is due to the nature of the way the hose kinks when it is forced into a 180 degree kink. If you look closely at the hose, you'll see there are actually two creases in the line that form the kink rather than one sharp crease forming the kink. This increases the diameter or orifice inside the kink over what you would get with one 130 degree kink. The brass tacks and hard fact here is this. Our assumptions about kinks may not be true. It's important to measure and evaluate your fire attack system. And last we have our 100 PSI automatic nozzle with a baseline flow of 150 GPMs. We were curious to see how the higher pressure of the line would impact our flow since the hose would be more kink resistant than a lower pressure line. 
Here you can see that one 90 degree kink has almost no impact. Again, two 90s affect the flow very little. We're at a flow of 144 GPMs. Here are the results of the 130 degree kink flowing 139 GPMs. Our open Z has dropped the flow significantly to 108 GPMs, a loss of about a third of our flow. And the closed Z brings our flow down to 70 GPMs. The quality and reach of the stream still remains good. However, we're flowing half the GPMs of our target flow, which is one of the characteristics of an automatic nozzle. Here's a recap of the brass tacks and hard facts of how kinks affect your fire tax system and your target flow. First, there are no common loss figures for typical kinks in your fire attack lines. The old adage of 10, 20, and or 30 GPM losses due to kinks is simply not true. Second, smoothbore nozzles generally suffer less reduction in flow from kinks than do fixed or automatic nozzles. Third, you need to measure the flow of your fire attack system to see the effect of kinks on your particular hose and nozzles. The hard fact here is this, we got specific results with the testing we did. You need to do your own testing. You saw how we set it up, a couple pieces of webbing, some different kinks, a couple carabiners, something you can do in your firehouse parking lot, but you have to test your system to see how your fire attack system is gonna to react to those specific kinks.